Step one, check for responsiveness. Tap and shout, are you all right? And scan the chest for movement. Step number two, activate the emergency response system and get an AED. Step three, circulation. Check the carotid pulse. Do not spend more than 10 seconds checking for a pulse. If you find a pulse, support the patient with rescue breaths. If you can't feel a pulse within 10 seconds, initiate CPR. Immediately give 30 chest compressions, followed by two breaths. Okay, step number four, defibrillation. As soon as possible, connect an AED or defibrillator, and if indicated, deliver a shock. Let's take a look at how the BLS steps come together in an arrest situation with an unconscious patient. Here's our case scenario. A 57-year-old man is experiencing many of the warning signs of acute coronary syndromes with chest discomfort, indigestion, and feeling faint. He collapses and falls to the floor. Sir? Sir, can you hear me? Look or scan the chest for movement. He's unresponsive. Call a code and get the AED and crash cart now. The code team is on the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Plug in pads connector. One. Analyzing heart Okay, rhythm. stand back. Stay clear Six, of patient. Seven, shock advised. Charging. Stay I'm ready clear to shock. Of patient. I'm clear. Deliver You're clear. Now. We're all clear. Press the shock button now. Begin with compressions. One, two, three. 